Okay, this is just a video about um, the re relationship between Fahrenheit temperature and Celsius or centigrade temperature. Um, I'm not an expert in all this, but I'll just give my take on it. Um, okay, here we have Fahrenheit on this scale. We have uh, centigrade or Celsius on this scale. Um, Celsius is defined where zero is freezing and 100 is boiling. Fahrenheit is defined where 32 is freezing and 212 is boiling. Okay. Um, okay, that's two points we can plot um, for Fahrenheit. The or the, the boiling would be um, 0.212 and 100 and the freezing would be 0.32 and 0 they're two known points they're uh, consistent always um, and then we can draw a line through those points and have all the uh, relationship between uh, any temperature um, but that doesn't those two points don't prove that the line is straight or linear it could actually be this way, you know, define somehow a curve or something. But um, I don't think we need a third point because both scales are linear. That is, when the true physical temperature of something doubles, the temperature is defined to double to the value on the scale. So we have two linear scales, so the only conclusion is is that the slope among them or relationship will be linear so we don't even need a third point to define um, this line okay uh, okay here we have um, I'm comparing Fahrenheit to Celsius the two most important points are uh, freezing 32 Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius boiling 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius okay uh, by looking at the graph the rate of change is constant because there's a line shown rate is how one numeric value or var variable changes due to another one changing a common example of rate is speed where as distance and time changes we can calculate how fast you're going and it's just a, um, a division um, your speed can change over certain distances and times so you would have to have the, um, the corresponding times and distances that is uh, the change in distance at that change in time the time difference so finding the average rate for the graph um, we have change in Celsius divided by change in Fahrenheit we would get a hundred between those two points on the graph divided by 180 and that's 0 0.555 it goes on uh, that is for each degree change in Fahrenheit Celsius will change by 0 0.555 degrees not even uh, a little over half a degree Celsius likewise for each degree change in Celsius Fahrenheit will change by 1.8 degrees it's just uh, three reciprocal of this it's like when you divide 180 by 100 and you'll get 1.8 um, so we have the change in Fahrenheit divided by the change in Celsius is a 1.8. Okay. Substituting values from the graph, we have um, 212 minus 132 divided by 100 minus 0. That's the change in temperatures divided by corresponding change in temperatures between the two points 
and we get rate is 1.8 and when uh, 0.32 comma 0 is used consistently uh, the change in uh, Celsius will always be um, whatever it is whatever you chosen whatever you're uh, trying to find out okay um, so that reduces the formula to just this 1.8 equals Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by Celsius and when you solve for Fahrenheit you get Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times the Celsius plus 32 or Celsius equals Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 Yeah, when that, that point's used consistently, when you're choosing, say, a Fahrenheit, you're trying to find out the corresponding Celsius temperature. Uh, when you do the change in um, Fahrenheit divided by the change in Celsius thing to find the missing value, um, if this point is used consistently, then that uh, simplifies the formula. See? 100 minus whatever fair uh, you're uh, you know checking so well we'll uh, reduce the formula you know make it a lot easier and then you can find out your uh, formula for comparing the two or finding the uh, value uh, okay thank you